we are now in. We are root inside the system. Very, very quickly, we're able to gain unauthorized access into the system. And today we'll be learning your first hacking tutorial. Okay, so this is critical because it helps you truly understand about the whole idea behind ethical hacking and penetration testing. And why should we learn this? We should learn this because ethical hackers, penetration testers are in huge demand. There is a huge supply crunch in the market. And by the way, if this is your first time here, this is an ethical hacking and penetration testing channel. So if you want to learn all about cybersecurity, remember to hit the subscribe button. At the same time, remember to like the video so that we can create even better content for you in the future. So right in front of us, we actually have Kala Linux running. And Kala Linux is a platform that can help us run ethical hacking into any websites or any systems. So right here in front of us, I have go ahead and click under terminal. So if you go ahead and click on terminal emulator, this would begin and start up the command line interface. So this help us interact very quickly with the operating systems as well as a lot of those hacking software that comes along with it. And if you look at the top left corner, all right, we actually have the menu. And in the menu, you have all the hacking software that you can utilize as part of learning ethical hacking. So you have step one, information gathering. So information gathering help us uncover devices, finding email addresses, and all these different identity and information. So we even have open source intelligence gathering. We have SMB, SMTP analysis. So all these tools help us very, very quickly identify devices, systems that are in the network. Next up, we have vulnerability analysis. So vulnerability analysis help us very quickly look out for possible vulnerabilities associated with those devices and systems that we encounter. So you have a lot of tools here to help us perform the checks against different input forms. We have web application analysis. So as more and more websites and businesses enable their services online, they are also susceptible to different types of attacks. And over here, web application analysis help us very quickly uncover vulnerabilities and possible problems that the hackers could try to hijack into those sites using the analysis tools here. And we have database assessment. So database assessment help us go directly into the system of records. So they would have usernames, passwords, credit card details, and so on. So this help us very quickly uncover those sensitive data, pull out information, and even deleting away the whole database. Password attacks help us go after accounts and try to flag out any sensitive passwords, existing passwords, and allow us to hijack those systems very, very quickly so that we could try to break into those passwords either through online or offline cracking and we have wireless hacking so wireless hacking help us ascertain right whether the wireless setup is proper do they have simple password that we can try to brute force into is there some kind of algorithm analysis that we can try to flag out those passwords using the checks with wireless hacking and we have reverse engineering so reverse engineering allow us the ability to look into the system into the software and see how they are running at the assembly level and we have the exploitation tools to help us break into those vulnerabilities so that we can gain direct access on unauthorized access into the system we have sniffing and spoofing so this can be utilized for many the middle attack and we can do address resolution protocol poisoning and we have post exploitation so post-exploitation is now we're in a system, what exactly do we do to try to further our attacks? Can we try to launch attacks against other devices, other IP addresses, other systems and information? All right. Forensics. So this allow us the ability to check on to different types of possible attacks that have happened and have evidences to perhaps even prosecute those possible hackers who have been utilizing those hacking tools to go after our devices. Reporting tools help us generate very nice reports, particularly when you have to provide those reports to your customers, to the business owners about the findings that you have gotten from your penetration testing. And social engineering tools help us launch phishing attacks, tricking the users into providing us their usernames and passwords. So now we've gone through the overview of Kala Linux, so we can very, very quickly identify all this different software that we can use in different phases of the cyber attack chain. So now we go straight into how we can scan a device and then ultimately using Metasploit to gain further access into the system using those known exploits. And what you want to do now is to go ahead and enter into Rapid7 and Metasploitable, which is a virtual machine to test Metasploit on. So this is a wonderful operating system that is available in virtual machine format that you can use to actually run all these ethical hacking techniques on. And at the same time, you can use Metasploit in conjunction with Metasploitable 2 to 
to actually run all of those hacking techniques that you will learn in this tutorial. So as you can see here, all you got to do is scroll down further and you have download now, all right? So fill out the form to download Metasploitable 2. So in this case, you can enter your name. So in my case, I enter Liang Yang followed by Loy and your job title is I'm an ethical hacker, okay? And you can select your job level, all right? And you can select your company and so on. So I'll enter security admin and I can enter my company as say a YouTuber, all right? So I can enter your work phone number, all right? So you enter your work phone number, whichever the case is, your work email address, and you have your work phone number, all right? And the country that you're in. So I'm residing in Singapore, all right? So go ahead and enter all this information and click Submit. So what is Metasploit? Metasploit is a penetration testing tool. It's an exploitation framework to give us access into the system. And there are multiple modules available in Metasploit that can help you run your penetration testing. And it is used by a lot of ethical hackers, penetration testers to help them accelerate the pace of performing penetration testing into any systems, devices, and even enterprises. So Metasploit framework can have ability to perform scanning on those devices to check for vulnerabilities and at the same time have exploits available that you can use to gain access into the system. So over here, what I have is Metasploit and you can go ahead and start it up. So for my case, I'll enter super user do followed by Metasploit framework. So you can use MSF console. So this will start up Metasploit framework and go ahead and enter your password for the user account that you have in Color Linux. So right here, we're starting the Metasploit framework console and we're in. Okay, so we're in Metasploit and all you got to do right now is enter a search. Okay, search can actually help you search for specific exploits that you want to find on a target machine. All right, so for in, for this case, what you can do is you can check out the previous video that we're looking on MMAP to help scan those devices for vulnerabilities. So in this case, what I can do is to go ahead and open up a new command line interface or terminal and I can do MMAP followed by the target IP address. So in this case, it's 192. 168.0.212. So you can also use MMAP against a specific domain name. All right. So if you are targeting and you're going after a specific website or a specific domain, all right, you can use MMAP to help you find out those services that are inside the system. So what we'll do now is to use an option to perform a much more comprehensive scan. So I'll go ahead and enter MMAP followed by dash S capital V followed by the IP address of the target machine. So here we have 192.168.0.212. Hit enter on this and it will begin a more comprehensive scan of all the services as well as the versions associated with those services. And once we have the version, it will be much easier for us to be able to flag out those exploits that we can utilize as part of hacking into the system. So right here, we have the list of services as well as their version. So we have VS FTPD D 2.3.4, we have ISC BY 9.4.2, we have NetBIOS, we have all these different services they're running as well as their associated version. And once you have the version, it is much simpler and is much easier for us to find those exploits associated with a specific version. So what I can do next is to go ahead and go back to Metasploit framework that we have launched. And all I got to do is search VSFTPD and hit enter on this. And right here, we have a specific exploit that we can use to go after the system and to gain unauthorized access into the system. So over here, we have VS FTPD D234 backdoor. And all I got to do now is enter use exploit Unix FTP, all right, followed by VS FTPD underscore 234 underscore backdoor. Hit enter on this, enter show options, all right. And right here, we have our host. So what our host stands for is the specific target IP address. So all I got to do is enter set our host 192.168.0.212. So this is the target device that we're going after. So what we can do next is to enter show options. All right. And we can enter set payload and you can do a double tap. And right here we can see that there is one payload that we can utilize. So what is payload? Payloads are the kind of shells, the kind of interaction that you want to have with the system after you have completed the exploit. So all I got to do right now is enter exploit, hit enter on this. And right here we are in, we are inside the system, all right? We have command shell session open, all right? And this, I can enter, who am I? We are now in, we are root inside the system. Very, very quickly, we're able to gain unauthorized access into the system. So once again, I hope you've learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of the questions. And like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.